Shell Seekers, good afternoon. How's everybody doing? I wanted to do a really quick video for you guys and talk about something that I think is really, really important that's been brought up on the page a couple times. Um, excuse my dog. He loves to do this when I click record. It doesn't matter if I'm live on Facebook or I'm doing a video. It's like he knows and it's his cue to like find every single toy in his crate that makes noise and squeak it or crunch it or whatever. So sorry about that. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about acid dipping and dipping your shells in acid. Now we, we are not dropping acid. Okay. We are dipping in acid. So don't get that confused. Okay. But I wanted to talk to you guys about the muriatic acid and dipping your shells in it. Now, number one, you do not, okay. Need to ever do that. And I personally recommend that you don't do that unless you have experience using acid okay because first of all you got to know what it's for okay it is for cleaning concrete and cement so it's not for cleaning shells it's not a product that you use for seashell cleaning it's a product that construction workers use to clean sidewalks and cement so it is acid and it will eat through anything so if you absolutely feel the need to use it you really need to be safe and follow these guidelines. These are just my guidelines. I don't think they're really written anywhere because it's not for seashells. So it's not like on the back, there's like a label that says, oh, these are the instructions for cleaning seashells. But this is what you need to do. Number one, you need to wear gloves. Okay, some type of like latex gloves are, are what I prefer, but wear gloves. Number two, wear old clothes that you do not mind if you drop a shell in the bucket and it splashes on you and you know ruins your clothes. Okay, the same thing if you were working with bleach. You would want to wear old clothes that you wouldn't mind a bleach spot on. Um, wear long pants. Because again, if you drop a shell in the bucket or you're pulling a shell out and it drips on you, you don't want that to drip on your skin. So you want to have your skin covered and protected. An old pair of jeans, an old pair of pants, pajama pants, whatever. Make sure that you're wearing something that covers your skin and protects your skin. Next is eyewear. Make sure that you wear safety goggles. Even if it's, even if you just have like sunglasses or regular glasses but have something to protect your eyes because you do not want this stuff to splash in your eyes you could lose your vision and that would be awful you also want to wear some type of face mask with a um, filter for fumes so don't just use your shirt or a bandana that's not a face mask you want to get something that is like medical grade or construction grade that's actually going to filter the fumes and not allow you to inhale them as you're working with this product okay and finally and this is really important so listen carefully storage okay the acid comes in this jug that's like it's like a plastic jug and I did not know this when I first started using it, and now I know. But if you have the lid turned and tightened and closed as tight as you can, it doesn't matter because the fumes will still somehow emit and it will corrode whatever kind of metal is in the room. So just as an example, say you're storing it in your garage and your husband has a really nice classic car or a really nice motorcycle, or his workbench is there with all of his really expensive tools. Yeah, this actually happened to someone, and it's, it's not good. It, will, it won't take long, but it will corrode any type of metal in the entire room. So it needs to be somewhere ventilated. Keep it outside on your porch, keep it on your deck, keep it in a shed. If you have obviously children or, or you know young people around the house, don't don't keep it accessible. But if it's just like you and your husband, or you live by yourself, keep it outside. Um, but keep it in a shed where you don't mind if there's old rusty tools in there. But don't keep it in your house. Don't keep it in your basement. Don't keep it in your garage or anywhere where there's metal items that could be corroded. Um, because it, it will corrode cars, motorcycles, tools, anything like that. So be very careful of where and how you store this. Okay, there's a reason that it's in a plastic jug and it's not in a metal container. 
okay? All right, so if you're thinking, okay, well, I really wanna clean my shelves, what do I do? Bleach, bleach is easy. It's super cheap, it's relatively safe. Don't drink it or pour it in your eyeball, but it's relatively safe. I still recommend wearing gloves. I still recommend wearing old clothes, a face mask, and eyewear. Always, anytime you're, you're using any type of chemical, you always wanna be safe. But bleach is, is much, much safer alternative, and it does the job. So how much bleach, what strength do you use? You know, it just depends. If you have a big horse conch and it's all black and brown and got barnacles all over it, I put that sucker in straight bleach for like two weeks. And maybe after a week, I'll change the bleach out, but I put it in 100% straight bleach. The dirtier the shell, the higher concentration of bleach, it's not gonna hurt the shell. It'll just get all that stuff off. If we go to the mud flats, or I have a couple fighting conks that have that you know green layer of slime on them, and I know they're gonna be kind of stinky, I put it in 50-50 bleach and water. Leave it in there for a couple days, no problem. Um, if we collect shells right off the beach, they're dried out, You know, I just wanna make sure that they're clean and they don't stink, but they, they're overall pretty clean. Usually I'll just use like maybe a 10 or 20% bleach solution with water and let them soak overnight. So bleach is great. You're gonna say, well, but bleach doesn't shine up my shells. If you remember Michael's video that he showed you guys, you can just take a little paintbrush with some mineral oil and you can paint your shells and it'll bring out the shine beautifully. So there are other alternatives. You do not have to use acid. Do not feel like you have to. And I really encourage you not to unless you're really comfortable and safe using it so having said that please be safe I don't want to hear about anybody losing an eye in this group I don't want to hear about anybody ruining clothes ruining shells that's another thing if you're if you're gonna use the acid and you're gonna dip your shells three seconds that's it if you leave your shell in anymore it's gonna eat the shell and if you happen to drop your shell in the bucket forget it because it will eat through shells quickly so be safe please be safe Okay, this is safety, safety guys, safety. And I hope you guys all have a great day wherever you are. I hope the sun is shining, even if it's not warm and sunny, or warm and, warm and sunny. Well, if, even if it's not warm, I hope it's sunny. I'll leave it at that. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.